Rick Rizzo är studiosångare. Han har sjungit soundtracket till bland annat Lejonkungen och Shrek 2. Den 22 mars gick han för att se Shenyun Performing Arts. Being in entertainment for so many years, I know the difference about when a performance moves you, but when it goes beyond intellectual and it goes to the spirit and the soul and the heart, that's what I felt. I felt like I had embraced Chinese culture and uh, it was like, so motivating for me to want to be even a better person that I try to be. Det främsta klassiska kinesiska danskompaniet har just avslutat tre föreställningar i Northridge i Kalifornien. Rizzo noterade det tvåsträngande instrumentet kallat Arhu. Han sa att det verkligen fångade hans och hans frus uppmärksamhet. We were looking kind of nudging each other silently going like wow. This is something that in all of our life we've never experienced that kind of musical expression. It was almost like because we're both professional singers where there is that person that is just so so much of a virtuoso that you it's undeniable you can just think we're on another dimension right now so that's how we we felt oh my goodness they were just like they they touched my spirit they were so transcendent i just it was amazing you know you have to be an actor to be a singer you have to really be in touch with the emotions of a song and there are times where you have to really dig deep and i feel like that instrument oh my goodness it like really reaches into your heart it reaches into your soul in the most tender touching ways utöver arhun sa rizzo att koordineringen av musiken och dansen var perfekt this was beyond a good effort this was for me about as close to perfection in terms of the art form and the marriage between the orchestral aspects and the actual dancing aspects and performing aspects it was seamless absolutely wonderful han sa att det andliga budskapet som skildrades i föreställningen gav en genklang inom honom my heart and my soul resonated to that message because i do believe that we do not hear by happenstance that we have a divine creator and that we carry that imprint Uh, on our own souls and spirits and uh, we let a lot of things get in the way so to come back to that reminder was fabulous. Att förmedla detta uppdrag är att återuppliva Kinas 5000 år gamla traditionella kultur. Andra gäster uppskattade också de traditionella värderingarna i programmet. I think they're great. I think we're losing those. I mean I look in all of the countries I see the homogenization so it's nice to see that continuity still there the respect of elders the respect for individuals each other. And you see in different cultures this respect is being lost. Shen Yun's turné fortsätter i USA, Europa och på andra platser. Shen Yun uppträder i Sverige i Linköping och i Stockholm i början av maj.